Okay, I want to talk for a second about steering feel and where it comes from. I've gone over in various other videos how self-aligning torque happens and how the fuzzy dice always point to the tires with the most traction. But what I want to talk about now for a second is what happens in a corner. You know, obviously, you want to enter the corner at the highest possible speed and get through it with the car basically staying on the track or off the fence or off the wall. And so you brake as late as possible because you're carrying speed longer. And then you breathe off the brake pedal so the car takes a set. And then all of a sudden as the weight gets transferred around the car and the tires take a set, they get into what we call steady state conditions. And if for some reason you missed your calculations and the view out the windshield includes maybe contact with a wall or an off-track excursion, Remember, you only have two sets of controls. Are you going to go for your foot controls first? No, because you know to keep the right foot planted longer, the finish line shows up sooner. What you want to do is you want to make sure you're riding on the top of the mu slip curve. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the wheel more. You always ask more of the front wheels to see if you're going to get more cornering force. And if for some reason it does respond to give you more cornering force, then fine. Probably you're going to keep it on the track, off the wall, and you carry on. You know to make an adjustment on the next lap. But here's the thing. If you're relying on the friction paradigm, where you're having to squeeze the wheel, which we talked about it being blocking the feedback, you're not able to really sense what the tire is doing. And so you're fishing back and forth, and you're relying more on seat of the pants instead of the proprioception, the muscles of the body. With a molded wheel where you don't have to squeeze the wheel in order to turn it, you can rely more on proprioception rather than seat of the pants to find out where you are on the mu slip curve. And if that works and that keeps the car on the track, fine. Keep your right foot down, carry on. But if you're able to feel the peak of the mu slip curve, like a peak, and you know you're right there, and it looks like you're going to have an off-track excursion or contact, then, of course, you've got to get your feet involved. You've got to add a little bit more weight on the turning tires. Of course, that weight has to come from somewhere, comes from the rear, the back end comes around. Guess what? That's a turning effect. But you've got to bring the back wheels back with unity on the ground, and they're already sliding. So what you have to do is what we call maintenance throttle. Now, obviously, if you're not accustomed to this, you're going to have an adrenaline dump. That adrenaline dump does two things. Actually, the main thing it does is it has a tendency to slow things down. And that has to do with the fact your internal body clock is racing. Meanwhile, the outside world is just clicking off one second per second. So you bought yourself a little bit of extra time because you'll be able to perceive things with greater resolution. And you have two choices. You have actually have a choice, one of two things. You can do the right thing and the wrong thing. The wrong thing is to resort back to your security blanket. You realize since you were a kid, you fell off the tricycle at a slower speed. It hurt less. Well... So our security blanket is now the brake pedal. Well, that's the last thing you want to do because for, as far as the friction circle is concerned, you want to make the maximum amount of traction available for handling. And that's with the swing of the fuzzy dice this way. So you want to have no load, traction or brake force load on the tires. But since you have engine RPM, you have to do what we call maintenance throttle. But you have this adrenaline dump happening, and if you think I've got to give it some gas to give it maintenance throttle, chances are you're going to spin the car because you have this adrenaline dump, you go for the gas and it'll come around. Instead, what you want to do is you want to think of just setting your foot on the gas pedal. And chances are you'll give it just enough fuel to get that wheel spinning again so that contact patch can get stationary on the ground. You go back to the static coefficient of friction, usually 30% more, and you get through the turn fine, and you know next lap, go a little bit slower.